Okay. Uh, so we came down the wave. Well, we didn't come down the wave. We were paddling in, and by sand club. And by chance, we were. Yeah, yeah. Um, One and two. One is closest to the water. Hey, um, I'm Adam Hockley. I'm from Do I Surf Life Saving Club. Today I'm competing in the Champion Lifesaver event. We did our resus and theory paper on Wednesday night, and today we've got our, we just did our beach sprint, we've got our board up next, then a swim race, then our tube race with the fin in the tube. Jackson from Newport. I reckon I've done alright. I've gone well in the physical. All the stuff gone first and seconds. But I'm not very sure about the theory though. First time, so just gotta see how it goes. So there's a whole theory component, is there? Yeah, I'd have to do a 40 question multiple choice, then do a live patient assessment, which when we get stuff wrong, we can get marks taken off us. And then there's also CPR component, so we have to do CPR. Yeah, and that's theory, which I'm not sure if I did well in that. Hi, my name's Alex, I'm from Freshwater. We're at the Branch Surf Life Saving Titles at Collaroy Beach, where I'm just waiting for my tube race for Champion Lifesaver. And we'll see how I go in that. How was your board though? Oh, I guess it could have been a bit better. I had a bit of a dodgy start, but it sort of came back in the end. Just because I say you do that, that's probably how I would do it. You're different, and that's okay. The trick is, things on. Make sure when you're running down the beach, you've got the cord, the boys at the back, you're free. Alright? You can't have the cord here, you've got to have the cord here, the cord there, this arm's free, this arm's free, and off you go. They'll come and I'll come and show you, and I'll check the tube to make sure it's broken. Go out just past the red and yellow and then we can come back. 
Adam from DY. Uh, Champion Lifesaver, it's an event where it's about pretty much all aspects of surf lifesaving. So you've got to do a test and that's worth 40, uh, 40 marks and then you've got to do a life patient resus and then resus on a mannequin and that's worth 40 points and then a sprint, swim, board and tube and they're worth 10 marks each and then the person with the most points at the end wins. So yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah. And now we've just finished our last event. We'll head up to the club, they'll finish up the points and announce the winner. Yeah. And then after this we go up to state and then the top two from New South Wales get to go up to Aussies. So, battle it out. <laughs> um, I'm Stephen from North Stain, steering champion lifesaver. Uh, we just had a tube race and I managed to come first in that, which is a bit of a surprise for me because I've never been that strong in the water. More of a beach competitor. But uh, it's good for the overall point score and I'm hoping to do well in that. I think I had a strong resus in theory the other night, so hopefully I can uh, um, come up with the place. I'm Liam Yates, I got a Newport Surf Life Saving Club. So I'm up there, cha I train with all the other boys in my age group. I just won the under 19, so I'm pretty happy with that and pretty stoked because I had most of the year off because of the HSC. So just getting back into it now, it's a good chance to just get fit, do a couple of races and see how it all goes. Hello, I'm Courtney Sloan. I'm from North Saint Surf Life Saving Club. I'm in the under 17s champion life set. And you just won? Yes. Yeah, so you had a good morning? Pretty good. Pretty good. And what's next? Um, I have patrol comp this afternoon. Other than that, I'm done. Tom Fuller from South Kalkal. And uh, what was that you just won? Um, gold medal for under 15 champion life saver. Oh, how was that? Um, yeah, it was pretty good, I think. I think I tried pretty hard in all the physical stuff and I studied for the, um, uh, for the, what do you call it? The, the theory stuff, yeah. Theory stuff? Yeah. Yeah, so you obviously know your theory. Yeah, I think so. Um, my name's Stephen, I'm from North Stain. Uh, the patrol, I mean, champion life save was pretty good. I came first, which was the first time I've done that. There's been a guy I've been competing with since under 15s. He's always came first to me and I've come second usually, so it's it's good to have beaten him once. And I hopefully we can continue this up the state. Okay, well we've got the under 17 first aid team and we've got the under 17 scenario going on. Uh, basically we've set up the situation uh, so that they're coming as first aiders for a fun run and uh, they've got some patients that will be coming in at various times. We've got um, nothing happening for the first minute or so, which is quite disarming from a competitor's point of view because you like to get going. You know time's ticking and you know points are, are sort of, I suppose, slipping away. Um, the first two patients come in after a minute. One's got grazes to the knees and sprained both wrists and the other is suffering heat exhaustion. So they have to manage those two patients. After a while, a third patient will come in and he's perhaps the most serious of the whole scenario. He hasn't eaten for 24 hours. He's trying to lose weight before the race. So his blood sugar levels are down quite low and he needs to be treated quite quickly uh, with sugar and we've got some orange juice and then some carbohydrates um, so that that can uh, maintain his sugar levels. If he doesn't um, tre get treated correctly at the six minutes mark, six minute mark he'll actually go unconscious. As a bit of a distraction uh, we've got a, a red belly black snake that the work party have secured underneath the box um, and it's just been very interesting some of the teams have used the box as props and, and not actually looked and, and seen that there's a snake there. So a little bit of fun on this scenario and I hope they're all enjoying it and have a great day.
I'm Ellie and I'm Ruby We're from Manly. Um, we just did under 17's first aid and there was a snake and there was so a snake nice. at the start when there was no patients. <laughs> And here's the snake. He's actually my pet. We had a bit of a scare um, removing him. <laughs> yeah, we just we just pushed him out. I'd not, I think that was not what we're supposed to do. Yeah, that's okay though. Oh well. And then we had an improvisation. We went unconscious, which was yep. a bit of a scare. I thought I was going to do CPR, but I didn't. And then and um, there was one was just grazes and yeah um, and um, sprain wrist. Yeah, and then someone else. Not much. Oh, so that's your friend. Yeah. yeah, his name's Bert. He loves the camera. Yeah, he's, he loves the camera. Warm, pink and dry. Patient is conscious. And we didn't find a snake. Yeah. I'm Talia, I'm from Freshwater Surf. And I'm Ebony from Freshwater too. Yeah, we just did our under 17's uh, first aid scenario. We think we did alright, it was sort of an interesting scenario. We, this is our first time doing under 17's with three patients this time. It's a bit nerve wracking, but we did yeah. it so. Yeah, we were happy, we worked together, we did well. We think. And hopefully we'll go better in branch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. in state, yeah. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Hi, I'm Isabel and this is Julia and we've just in an under, under 17 scenario um, and we had three patients, one with a series of um, like abrasions on her hands and wrists and on her knees too. On her knees? Yeah. Um, there was a snake under a box, so we had to keep people away from that. Um, there was a person who had a hypercholesthemia and you needed to give them oxy um, um, orange juice. Yeah. And what did your patient have? And my patient had um, cramps and hypothermia. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So it was alright. <laughs> um, there was no mask and our oxygen kit, which was kind of distressing, but alright, we think. And, it for went. The, and for about the first minute, there were no patients. No. Which was a bit concerning. <laughs> That's um, right. Because we weren't sure what to do. Yeah. But so overall, I think it went pretty well. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Bye! Make sure there's a little bit of ice pack back on you. Yeah, we're Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Matt, there's no response on this case. Sure. Skin is warm and dry. Um, we're Stephen and Matt, and we're from North Sane. Yeah, um, under 17s. This okay. scenario was a bit, it's a bit slow to start, I must say. It's a it was, bit, didn't know what to do at the beginning. It was quite different. It was like a very realistic scenario. Like yeah. That set up, like, we never like faced that. anything like that before. Normally we just go in and you know what's there. Like this one was lift a bit more. There was more uncertainty for us. Yeah, a bit chaotic as well because just had champion lifesaver. Hadn't really orientated myself before I came down. And but see, uh, yeah, seeing that snake under the table. That was a good, good catch by you. Welcome to the 2014 Sydney Northern Beaches Branch Championships here at beautiful Collaroo Beach. Uh, the weather gods have turned on a beautiful day for us as they did yesterday for our Masters. 
We've got about 1,300 competitors here today. Uh, Westfield are our sponsors for the Junior Championships today and we want to thank Westfield for their uh, coming on board. Um, just have a look at the faces of these kids, some of them winning gold medals for the first time. The excitement, not only from the kids, from the parents, uh, is really great to see. So, NIP is very strong in our, in our area. Uh, we've got about 8,000 nippers uh, all up, about 1,300 of them here competing today. So, what a great day. I'm Tony Williams, um, I'm the head junior coach at North Curl Curl, I'm also the uh, junior coach uh, for the uh, branch team. Um, this year we've continued to build on the uh, junior development and the beginner programs at the club to strengthen things and uh, you know that's our first uh, win today in a uh, all age relay. Uh, we've had a couple of seconds but um, with the junior development that's coming through we're starting to show some depth in the club and hopefully that we can uh, see an inclusion in uh, compulsory for girls in that race because it would be great to encourage the girl participant in that sort of races. Thanks for that. Hi! Uh, the race was really hard, and really long. Um, the break, um, there's a massive few sets coming but I got through them and had a good lead. So now we're winning.
James Brooks, uh, club coach at Newport. Um, good day for us here today. We're, uh, we've got a couple of good 13s and a couple of good 14 year olds. We, uh, we focus really strongly on the team events, so we're very happy this morning. We managed to win the 14s boys and girls relays, uh, and we won the 13s and the 13s boys uh, board relay, and got a second in the girls board relay. So that was a really pleasing start for us. Um, we focus hard on trying to build those teams and keep them together and make sure that we try and put team success nearly ahead of individual success. Uh, over the years we've learnt that good teams and good team efforts generally breed good individual performance in the longer term. So uh, it's a good day for us, we're excited. We had a big day yesterday at Newport with the Ironman qualifying series. And we had a bunch of our good under-19s racing there and Kendrick who led the whole day only to be beat on the last wave but that was also a great day for the club and, and they're great uh, role models for the younger kids we've got here. So all in all exciting day, it's great to be at Branch and um, really nice last hit out for these kids before they finish off their preparation for state. It was really hard. Oh, I'm so tired. Very happy. Woo! Yeah, we're so yeah, happy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm hungry. Okay. I just had to jump off my board really quickly and get out in front before anyone was in front of me so then I could get a clean run around the pole and then get a clean tag. So, me and Sterling were racing in and I was in front of Sterling and I jumped off the board before and by, by chance my legs are longer so I could wade further and ran around the corner, tip Rhino with a little bit of a lead that he kept. Sometimes in life you have to 
to follow up what you want and run hard. So that's what we did today. Go Avalon! And I'd also like to say thank you to everyone for training us this year. And thank you to the Avalon Surf Life Saving Club and Nippers for training us. People. And